Hi guys, Crystal Two Westing Girls here. Um, coming back at you after we had Mod Podged. Took our Mod Podge and went over the silk screen that I have made with a uh, Christmas tree emblem here. I don't know if you can if you can see that or not. Um, after we Mod Podged, I went ahead and went back through with some tape to fill in some of the holes that I didn't get um, painted on real well. So. Okay. We just went back over that with that. If you hear a little commentary in the back, it's Amy. She's, a, <laughs> she's a helping me. Hey, here. everybody. All right. To get started on doing your uh, your cards, I'm doing actually a one-sided card here on a piece of cardstock paper, of course. Um, got a piece of wax paper here to put in under it where I don't make such a bit, big mess here. You're going to lay your cardstock paper down. going to take your, uh, your screen lay it over the top of it and we're using acrylic paint okay first of all i'm going to take my paint and this uh plastic wedge here yep that amy has made for me out of a cutting mat is that correct yep we recycled old cutting mat all right so i'm going to take a little paint if it wants to cooperate if it wants to come out <laughs> take a little paint yep Take your flat side of your card. And hold your screen in place. Hold your screen in place. If you need to tape it down, do so. I'm going to hold mine with my hands here. And what you're going to do, you're just going to push that paint through the screen. To get that entire image, huh? To get the, to where you can see the tree through it. You can alternate directions too, to make sure it's gone through real well through the hole. Get it on your fingers. Yeah, we'll wash that off. <laughs> Just push it through the screen. While you're getting it over your whole image. I think that's good enough to show, Amy. I think so. See, so lift up and see what happens. Just lift it up. Make here. sure you lift it up very evenly. Very carefully. We lift off. And yeah. I'll help, help hold there. the card and just gently peel it back. Keep going. Keep going. Let's see what's happening underneath there. There we go, image. Cool. Awesomeness. So, she's got so, a whole tree. And you can see the, the little things around it, which is totally totally fine. Right here, it bled through a little much. I didn't have my tape carly over that big but You can spot. find areas to mask for later. Let's turn but, it around and show it to them. You can see the effect we have going on there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> All right. And also, after... You get this done. I'll, I'll quickly show you the stamps that Amy and I had made earlier. I'm going to take this red ink here. Okay. Get a little red ink on here. Cover up our stamp. Hey, Crystal, I think you could go back in with acrylic too and maybe paint some ornaments on there as well to individualize oh, the colors. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, you could take your, like, a little, your paintbrush, a little red paintbrush maybe. Go ahead and dab you some balls on there. Take a little, uh, maybe, and make little, little, you know, garland lines across there with some silver or something. That you can definitely decorate or it a up. Star stamp. Awesome for a star stamp. So this, I took it and put some little red ink on there. And lift up with our eraser stamp. And then there's that. That's fun. Of course, you can re-ink up if you want. Turn that around and show us, Crystal. And then you could add a little bit more to it. If you'd like. Turn and, show and then you can have your own personalized Christmas card. Cool. Inexpensive, easy, good stuff. Cool. Stay tuned. Amy's going to come back and show you one that she's made. My card I've already done. But I'm going to show you how to print with our um, rubber stamp or our eraser stamps and our Mod Podge frame that we have that has Mod Podge on it and our design that's been traced out or drawn out with a brush. Um, so we're going to create this. So I'm going to get my card ready. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to stamp the inside of my card. I've got a commercial stamp here because I like the fine lettering to be done with this. And then I and my family go ahead and sign the inside of the card to personalize it, personalize it even more. But I'm going to get my ink out. And I'm going to use red on the interior. 
and I'm gonna take red ink and go across real evenly and cover the whole surface of my stamp. Get a nice coating on there. Okay, so I've got that ready to be stamped to my card. I'm gonna center that inside my card where I want it. So then I will put it about where I'd like to put it for my signatures and otherwise. A nice firm pressing down, lifting up, and I have stamped the inside of my card with a nice greeting. And now, this is going to dry fairly quickly, and even if it doesn't, I'm going to be on wax paper and try not to let it slip around. But I'm going to work on the exterior part of my card now. So I'm going to go ahead and get my frame, have my frame ready. I'm going to set it in place and center it on my card where I'd like it. For this card, I'm going to try to use, um, I'm going to go with a teal or a kind of a peacocky color. I always think of Elvis's Blue Christmas with the ones I've made before. Um, and I use a lot of green, but I'm going to try something just a little bit different. I've got a little card squeegee that I use. I cut this from a cutting mat, so I'm just recycling this. And I'm going to put some paint across on my tree. Squeeze some paint out. And you don't want to overdo it, but you want enough to make sure you coat it really well. The last one I made, as you can see, the star didn't quite get completely coated. So you want to do a smooth scrape across the frame, getting paint in all of that design, pushing down through the screen, and try to move around in different directions. In a little circular shape, it's a little bit more difficult than the larger silk screening frames, but it can still be done. And make sure that your card's not sliding around, you're not getting excess paint where you don't need it. Try to work carefully. You may have to do a test run or a trial run on a piece of uh, plain paper first, or scrap paper before you go to this. So I'm gonna set this to the side. I'm gonna carefully lift off my frame. And there's my tree design that we've got. So if I turn this around, you can see my tree card that I've made. Now, even while this is still wet, if I'd like to, I'm gonna put just a little bit of yellow. Drop the yellow. And let me go get my star stamp on your back. All right, so I have made, or I have a little abs very abstract star stamp here, and I'm gonna get a little bit of yellow paint on that. Just a little bit, just to cover it. And you want, um, probably if you're doing over stamping, you might want a little bit more opaque of a, of a paint or ink. I'll take a little bit of excess off there. But I'm just gonna stamp it into place and put a star, an abstract star at the top of my tree, my star design, and that way I have a star. And then when it's dried, I can sign the corner if I'd like to sign my own artwork. But there's my finished Christmas card. Now, for the outside of my card, I'm going to take my envelope that I've got. I've got a little moist. And I'm going to get my ink out again. And I'm going to go with this tree stamp again. I like this one. So I'm going to ink up my little stamp. Get a nice even coat of ink on that. And this is my little tree stamp I cut out from my eraser previously. And these are great for like a little hand uh, canceled or a hand handmade stamp if you're hand delivering. It's fantastic. So line up the corner of your envelope. So this is my upper corner here. I'm going to go over here to the corner, line up my design where I want to put it, set it in place, push down firmly, and I've got my little hand stamp on there if I hand deliver this and helps it saves money in your expenses with stamps for the holidays and it also personalizes it and gives that person a little bit more uh, attention and care to details that you put a little more time into their card for them so it makes it a little, even more handmade than previous in your project so thank you for joining us this is Amy with two West End girls and I hope you have a great holiday season and enjoy decorating cards of your own using uh, trying out some of these screen printing methods and the block printing methods there's so many variables and so many different things you can do here. Please try this out. Enjoy crafting and creating with two West End girls.